Okay. <laughs> this smells. This doesn't just smell to the public right now that the budget of the party was never put before. Forget about the budgetary committee for a second. Put before the people who have a fiduciary responsibility, whether it's Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, whether it's Donna Brazile when she was chair, when she was vice chair, or vice chair Ray Buckley, or Jim, Dr. Jim Zogby over here. That's over half the executive committee right there had no idea where the money was going. We spent a billion dollars, lost the easiest presidential race you could possibly imagine with joint fundraising agreements. State parties weren't being funded. During the DNC chair's race, there were some state party chairs who said, I'm an acting executive director and I have $3,000 cash on hand. How are you supposed to rebuild the party if you have no idea where that money was spent? And you know what? I did go through FEC filings and it doesn't look good. It smells. We're talking about close to 700 to $800 million between the joint fundraising agreement and the DNC being spent on five consultants. Uh -oh. This is not a public outrage issue. The DNC chairs are upset, the officers are upset, and I don't know who's on the budget and finance committee. I did go to the meeting, it was 15 minutes long, and there was a pie chart that was, that was put on screen. Yeah. But I would, as a Democratic Party member of this commission, we have a duty and people are watching us right now. The number one issue I get asked out in the public by DNC members is, what are you gonna do about the budget? It is absolutely ridiculous that we are gonna keep a status quo system when it basically says we're gonna to continue to lose 1,200 seats. Let me describe what losing 1,200 seats looks like or the remaining seats we have. If you're in Arizona, Trump, yes, but let's break that down a little bit. If you're in Arizona and you have an ectopic pregnancy, pregnancy, you can't go to a Planned Parenthood clinic because it's gone, because that state legislature is lost. So you have to drive over to New Mexico and if you bleed to death on the way, you know whose fault that is? In my mind, that's a Democratic Party that wasn't funded, recruiting candidates, investing in, in, in local parties. And that is our fault because we have put that money to the top five consultants. And part of that has to go to the conflicts of interests. This is outrageous, it's unethical, it's bad governance, and frankly, it's fucking, excuse me, corruption. So if we do want to look at this Budget and Finance Committee, I advise, I'm sorry here, I advise that it be an elected Budget and Finance Committee. We have very clear standards of oversight and that it is not just looking at past budgets, but putting forth a budget for debate with the people who have a fiduciary responsibility in that room so that they can find out, is this an open bid contract? Because the budget you know, Congresswoman Fudge mentioned it's, it, it doesn't have to do with vendors. Well, the majority of the budget goes to vendors. So we have to have a conversation about who are those vendors. I agree. And that would happen through a budget and finance committee or another committee. But I think what's key is that that committee has oversight and it is elected. Because right now these committees are stacked with whoever the chair decides is on the committee. And I don't know what the chair's interests are because, you know, he's been chair for, for eight months. I don't know who he's in line with, but we don't have time. We have a freak in the White House and state legislatures controlled by Republicans and poor state party chairs like Jane Klebb having to go out there and fundraise on her own because the Democratic Party isn't able to allocate money. Well, all that money, we went to presidential races, but it was burned, lit on fire. And who suffers as a result of some consultants getting third, fourth, and fifth homes? The American people, people being rounded up by ice. Let's keep this in perspective right now. We have a duty here, and it is not just a duty to our committee men and the status quo. It's a duty to the American people, to the Democratic Party members, to the DNC chairs, to the DNC members, the executive committee members, and the people who have a fiduciary responsibility. Amen. Dr. Zogby.